Hi guys, I'm here with Renato Tavares and uh, I want to share with you how I, I lose my weight. Uh, I have a lot of people call me and send me mail or Facebook me and ask about uh, how I did to lose weight last year. Uh, when I did a world championship, I dropped 17 pounds. The last time I was in that weight was in 94. And last, last year I decided to drop weight for uh, light feather, light, light feather. And I'm going to tell you what I did, what you're supposed to do. Uh, we're gonna have for you uh, follow-ups week by week. And then we start uh, this week, and then I have like week four, week three, week two, and the first week before 10 a.m. What you're supposed to do? Uh, we're gonna give advice of diet, cardio, uh, training, uh, how we need to follow all the way to be there in your weight class. Okay, hey guys. Uh, first option: five pounds uh, in these four weeks. What you need to do is drop a pound and a half per week. They are going to put like a half pound over your weight the week before. It was like very good. Even probably going to lose this before. You're going to be there like the, the week after the PMs. Uh, before PMs is going to be in your weight class. Uh, what I'm doing to make sure I can drop this to get to my training, uh, I put like two or three sessions of cardio between 30 to 40 minutes. Uh, everybody is a little bit different. Uh, and then sometimes you need to do a little bit more cardio to make sure you can drop that weight and then you can do a little bit more, maybe one or two more sessions per week. Uh, the high, the cardio is a high intensity cardio. Uh, usually what I'm doing is I do a five minutes uh, bike, five minutes treadmill, and five minutes row machine and I go there for two or three sets. That way I can keep going and uh, drop my weight slowly. And it's very important to do a high intensity and make your metabolism go fast. Uh, what I'm doing, I, I take bite by bite, uh, they help me a lot. I can usually change a meal, uh, the breakfast or the dinner for bite by bite, and that it helped me a lot. Like the last time when I did it for, for Moon Jaws, I dropped 17 pounds. The last time I was in, in that, that way, uh, light feather, was uh, in 1994. And I did, I lose weight, and I feel for a lot of energy, and something you can add, have all nutrients you need. I can change for uh, one meal. The best thing doesn't have a specific taste, and then you can mix with whatever fruit you like banana, strawberry, you can add right there. And depending how much weight you need to lose, you can add more stuff. Uh, and then it's a very good stuff to put together in your diet and follow. Uh, what I'm doing to, uh, to make sure I can follow my diet better is write down everything. Uh, usually, if I get like something in the morning, I write down and then I know what I ate. Next day, if I maybe have a little bit extra, I can take it out, and it's easy to follow. I'm going to have the sheet on the website. You can write down all meals, and then you know what to eat that day, what to eat next day, and then the next time if you need to lose that weight, you can make easy, do some transition, change some stuff, make sure you can hit your, your weight glass, hit your goal of uh, get your weight. Now let me go to the website. I'm going to have options for you about uh, cardio exercise, different stuff you can do it. Uh, we're gonna have uh, a sheet there where you can follow your diet and your training. You can write down everything. I like to write down my stuff so then the next time when I do it, if I need to lose weight, I know what I did. And if I need change, I can change because I have all my record right there. And it's easy to follow and make change if you need. Hi guys, now it's uh, 10 pounds. If you're 10 pounds overweight, that's my case. What I need to do is that drop two pounds and a half per week. And I'm gonna tell you what you need to do to drop the two pounds and a half, how you need to do your cardio, your diet. I'm gonna give you details on that. Hi right, guys, now I'm gonna go for the, the, the cardio part. Uh, you can do three to six. Usually I do between three and four, but everybody's different and then maybe you need to bump to six times a week. Uh, again, 30 to 45 minutes, you have options. On the website, I'm gonna give options for you. you can change the way you do cardio, but make sure in the middle of the week, if you need to push a little bit more, add more cardio. Three to six, middle of the week, you still, you still maybe didn't lose the weight you need, add more cardio, make sure you hit your goal in the end of the week. Okay, now is the diet part. Uh, we need to be more strict because it's two pounds and a half, and then make sure you follow your diet, that's because you put it there, the sheet, you can follow, you can write down everything you do, everything you eat, and then make it easy you follow uh, during the following weeks. Uh, on the diet, what I'm doing, I take bite by bite, at least on the, the breakfast or for dinner, 
But if you feel you need to add more, you can do like maybe twice a day, maybe two or three times a week, and then it's gonna help you drop the weight. Uh, the diet's very important right now. It's very important you make sure you follow everything, you write down everything, and during the week you can see how you do it. If you need to take a little more stuff, so add more body by body, it's easy to do it, and make sure you're gonna hit your, uh, your goal on the end of the week. Now it's the 15 pounds. There is a lot more hard work to do it. Uh, last year I dropped 17 pounds for the World Championship. And then what I'm going to talk right now, what I did last year to drop that weight. And then I'm going to go over a few of cardio and diet, what I did, and what you can do to make sure you hit your goal. Guys, now we go for the cardio part. Uh, we need to do four pounds per week. Uh, what I did last year, when I told, tell you guys what I did last year, to drop 17 pounds. Uh, for the World Championship, you'll be serious about it. You know, like you're gonna do five to eight sessions of cardio per week, and then pretty much you can do maybe Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, do two sessions, Tuesday and Thursday, one session. By the end of the week, if you need to do more, you do Thursday and Friday, and even Saturday, you add a cardio session to make sure you hit your goal. The goal is four pounds that week. Okay, and then be serious about your diet, your cardio, follow, write down everything, and you're gonna be able to do that. Now I'll go for the diet uh, for this 15 pounds. Uh, I'm gonna, gonna tell you what I did last year for the World Championship. I dropped 17 pounds uh, to make sure I hit the goal uh, to be there in a light feather. Uh, make sure you write everything down, what you eat, because there is easy. If the follow week you need like maybe take some stuff or add some stuff, you can do it. Uh, what I did for for uh, for drop the weight, I used body by body and I was doing like twice a day, I was uh, changing my, my breakfast, breakfast in the morning, body by five, and my, my dinner, I was using body by five during the week, and then it's good too, you write down everything, and then you know the next, the following week, if you need to add more, or take a little bit more, and then make sure you drop your four pounds, I think four pounds is a good, good goal to drop, don't try to drop too much, more than that, because it's not really healthy, uh, the, 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 the meals, uh, what I'm doing is like I'm doing like a five to six meals a day. And like small meals, the idea is like you eat, keep eating, they are uh, two and three hours. They are gonna make your, your, uh, make your metabolism go fast. And the body by five is the good thing in the body by five because you have all nutrients you need to make sure you don't wanna feel hungry, you don't wanna feel weak. They're gonna keep you for a high energy. I want to share with you some tips uh, that are going to help you lose your weight. Uh, the first thing I, I like to do is uh, I always, on the beginning of the week, because I have more energy, I feel more energizing, I do my cardio, I do my heart training on the beginning of the week. That one is going to help you uh, lose more weight in the beginning of the week. Middle of the week, probably already kind of already on more than half what you need to do for the end of the week, already, and then you can start relax, you can start doing all this stuff so I can focus more on the technique. But usually I'm doing the beginning of the week, I try to hit hard in the cardio, uh, training sessions to make sure I can drop more weight in the beginning of the week. And the week you usually get a little bit tired and then you don't need like to go too hard on the end of the week, you can relax a little bit more and we prepare yourself for the following. Uh, I like to do like five to six meals a day. That way you're gonna help uh, you know, make your metabolism go fast. Uh, have my, my breakfast and have uh, some snack and then have my, my lunch and then snack and then have a dinner and depending on how far you have to go to the bed, maybe have another snack but make sure you don't eat like two hours before you go to the bed that way you don't gonna have a, a, a lot of stuff in your stomach, you can relax, you can drop weight when you sleep and then next, next day probably gonna be a pound usually a lot of people go to a half pound to a pound over overnight when you sleep the next day you can start your diet again. Hey guys, now it's time to get started. Print your worksheet, write down everything, your goals and plans. Uh, stay tuned for the next videos. Every, every week we're gonna put a video for you to make sure you can follow us and do your goals. Uh, if you wanna share, share your products on the Facebook. If you need uh, some tips, some more stuff, then, uh, feel free to message me or text me or call me. Let's do this, we can do it.